Well, we aren't making any more money, and we can't afford to live, but we just went on a spending spree? Hey, I'm John B. I give you the hacks from Origin Media, and I'm a little confused. So let's start here. Wage growth has started slowing down, which means our paychecks aren't growing as fast as they had been the last couple of years. But inflation has started to tick back up, which means that the things that we buy are getting more expensive faster. Though rent has started to slow down, which is good. The problem with that is the damage is already done, and now rent is so expensive a lot of people can't afford it. See, right after the pandemic, rent prices went through the roof and have just continued to go up ever since. It's still going up now, but it started to level off finally. The problem is, rent has already increased so fast that wages just couldn't keep up. So now rent is completely unaffordable, and unfortunately, it's probably going to stay that way until incomes can catch up. Which, like I said, does not seem to be happening anytime soon. But here's the weird part. We started spending more. Retail sales totally blew out expectations. So even though prices have been going up, wages have not, rent is unaffordable. We're still spending like crazy. And this is how we're doing it. See, we're not spending more money because we have more money to spend. We're spending it because things cost more to buy and we're just putting it on credit cards. We've been setting a lot of new records this year and we're now well over a trillion dollars in debt. And it doesn't look like we're getting relief anytime soon. You see, the Federal Reserve's been keeping its interest rates high in order to combat inflation, which has been working. It's been coming down from its high of 9%. But it stalled out recently and even started going back up. Now, instead of getting a rate cut next month like we expected, it could be next year. This caused mortgage rates to hit the highest point they've seen since November. And they could potentially get worse, especially if we see more bad inflation data. So now we're hovering close to 7.5% again. And we're in this weird limbo where we don't know what's going to happen next. But we've got more really big inflation data coming out on Friday, so stay tuned and I'll keep you posted.